Firefighters have always played an essential role in our community. The path to becoming a firefighter is often long and difficult, but the Cobb Fire Cadet Program helps young firefighters get an early start. This program is helpful for the community because it creates a pool of hire, hireable applicants apart from the application process that we already have going on with um, just your average adult coming into the fire service. Um, so it pulls from and pours back into the community. That program was created to give kids and young adults an opportunity to experience what it's like to be a firefighter. Um, it was a way to introduce them into some of the training that we do, some of the skill sets that we learn, but it also was created to help teach soft skills, like how to be a responsible citizen, how to do proper communication skills, critical thinking skills. Um, so it's not just about being a firefighter, but just how to be a functioning adult. Launched in 2007, the Junior Cadet Program has helped teenagers explore their passion for firefighting. The program teaches future firefighters important skills that will help them in the field, as well as teaching them everyday skills such as team building and communication. Uh, well, they've already started with the first step as far as becoming a cadet. Um, that could potentially lead to working with Cobb Works. That'll get them some type of internship in the county. Um, they can go through our pathway program to learn Firefighter 1 and ENT skills. I um, mean, these are things that are um, items that they can put on a resume to potentially, you know, have a job here in Cobb. I've been a cadet for three years now, and I started um, off of hearing one of my grandpa's friends who was an old firefighter here in Cobb talk about it um, and it made me just really want to investigate it and join out, join it. I've been a cadet now for about a year and a half and I started to learn more about the fire department, what it means to be a firefighter, stuff like that. Okay. I want to help people in other ways ordinary people can. Okay. Again, it's introducing those soft skills that um, people just don't learn in your everyday society. Um, like I say, it helps learn it teaches you how to work with others. Um, it gives people things to do, gives those young adults places to go, resources, things to do other than stuff that just most people don't think about. Um, for those that have that interest in public safety, that want to be a firefighter, we give you that introduction, give you those skills, give you those connections that they want to do. As far as the community, we also do things as far as community service. So it teaches them how to help others, how to be successful and creative and just, I guess, cooperative and be able to work well with others and to help society and be, just be a good person all around. Training program is important because it puts the new generation into the department. Without it, we don't have trained people to respond to emergencies, to go to really anything. You fall down your stairs, you rely on us to come pick you up, check you out, send you to the hospital. Um, I think it's important to understand the basics and get to know or know what you're getting into before you actually join the job. It helps, it helps me get my foot in the door. Um, everything that I've learned while being here is something I can apply to rookie school or after I get into a department. So it really just kind of teaches you all these things at a young age. Um, I think it will help me with leadership skills, being in charge of people, or not really in charge but responsible for people and also just having leadership skills, communication skills, stuff like that. One of the things that firefighters do is called a mayday, and that's something that they call if they get lost, if they get hurt, if they get disoriented. And so the mayday drill teaches them how to be able to find that hose line and how to follow that hose line to get out and get somewhere safe. Um, so we teach them the basics on how to do it, and then we put them in a situation that's probably a worst case situation. So if you're ever in a position to where something like that is needed, it's not nearly as bad as what you've trained for. And then the one downstairs is what we call our VEIS, which means Vent, Enter, Isolate, and Search. And that's more of a drill where if we show up on scene and someone says, my loved one is in that room right there, we know where they are, we will go straight into that room, into that environment, search that environment, and then get that victim out. 
And so these are just skills that it's essential for them to learn, but we like to practice it in a more controlled environment and so that they still get the full experience of what to do. So I come from a underrepresented community uh, in my hometown. And so being able to step into this job and then find out that we had a program like this for kids that I wish I had growing up just spoke to me and so I became an advisor. I enjoy teaching. I enjoy molding the young minds. I enjoy passing on my knowledge and skill set to those who don't know what they're doing. Um, these kids are more motivated. They're more appreciative of what we do. And it just brings me joy to watch them be successful and just enjoy the environment altogether. Firefighting is a tough career, but being able to give back to the community makes it all worth it. Thanks to our Cobb Fire Junior Cadet Program, there'll always be a new generation of firefighters ready to keep Cobb safe. For The Anchor, this is Olivia Sprague signing off.